Welcome one and welcome all, baby, to the People's Channel, Orchid <laughs> for Dummies. This is Pal Pal Darrell, and in today's video, I want to update all of my Fal Pals on my 21 Phalaenopsis orchids growing in the method of water culture. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome on back. Now, in no particular order are these my 21 Phalaenopsis orchids growing in the method of water culture. I've been growing almost three years now. It's February 2021. I want to inspect my Phalaenopsis orchids, inspect the roots, as well as give you care tips, okay, that will help you sustain your beautiful Phalaenopsis orchids in the method of water culture 24 hours, people. Okay, okay. <laughs> so this is one of my most successful Phalaenopsis orchids right here that is grown in the method of water culture. You seen me in a previous video clean the base of it with a toothbrush to get rid of that black mold. Now, if you are struggling in your um, base of your Phalaenopsis orchid is really dark, way darker than this, then I will leave a video link above letting you know how I got rid of black mold. But everything that I will show you and teach you today will ultimately give you a better understanding and a better way to grow your Phalaenopsis orchids in water. So I'm seeing a lot of active root tips. A lot of active root tips, is, which is what we want, okay? And the thing about it was making sure there was no leftover velamen, okay, that was rotting away. You see that this is dark right there. It's dark, but the base of it in general, okay, is not black, okay? So this is, this orchid has some of the clearest water, out of all of them like I can literally leave her in here for you know two weeks or so sorry for the blurriness um, she has a new leaf coming out okay me fertilizing them without using the fish amusion from my aquarium it's going to be something that I'm still working on okay it's something that you have to do frequently and it's just something I haven't been the most faithful about. Now, these two beautiful babies right here are Kiki's that was given to me by my beautiful fail pal Diana from Diana's Orchids. And they are doing just, they're doing well, Diana. They're doing well. They're doing just fine. Beautiful active roots, okay? I just cleaned them, getting them ready to have a change of water. Okay, you see, beautiful, beautiful. No new leaf is growing to my knowledge. Okay, but this one is losing strength. Okay, it's being transported to something. Now, fail pals, look at here. This is the other one, and this is the boy. Okay, this is the boy. Look at these beautiful, beautiful roots absolutely beautiful 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 can you touch them you want to make sure your hands is clean definitely if you are a smoker make sure you clean your hands before you touch these beautiful roots okay welcome on back baby welcome on back now, these four beautiful Phalaenopsis orchids right here are actually birthday orchids from 2020, okay? So, this one right here was given to me by my Fal Pal group on Facebook. If you want a 
of family and orchids, please join my Facebook group, Fail Pell. Okay, it's a place where you can get your life, I assure you. Now, this beautiful phalaenopsis right here came from Louisiana Orchid Connection. Now, it was a seedling. Yes, it was. But did I expect it to be in better condition? Yes, I did. Right now, you are seeing, you know, some of the hard work I had to put into it. So, I would not recommend Louisiana Orchid Connection, okay? If the girls are telling you to go there, honey, mama is telling you she got several orchids from them that was not worth, you know, too much of nothing, okay? So, the name of this Phalaenopsis is going to be, you see it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, let's look at her roots, okay? Now, this beautiful baby has beautiful new roots, okay? I've been giving her the water from the aquarium, like I told you. And um, she had a lot of velamen, which is this coating right here. It easily, okay, once, once I rinsed off the roots, it easily was able to detach. And so, because she was um, she lost velamen from some of her roots. I'm going to give her a day or two to dry out. Now, this beautiful baby right here came from Norman, another um, online grower, orchids.com. It's full of, tr I mean, it's not worth nothing. It's not worth nothing and the customer service is just as horrible. Would not recommend them at all. My foul pal, Auntie Vanessa, from my Facebook group, she purchased this baby for me for $65. And, girl, it came with three blooms that died the next day. And it was completely rootless. So, this is the amount of roots, you know, from a year. So, a very good job growing in the method of water culture. You know, we love a Schillerania. That's my favorite orchid. So, for those that wanted to know, are you able to grow her by the method of water culture? The answer is yes. <laughs> now, these two beautiful babies right here, these big mama jamas, was given to me by my mom, okay, for my birthday. It's going to be one of those just add ice orchids that you get from a supermarket, okay? Now, these are also the two Phalaenopsis orchids that I did the experiment water culture versus, you know, um, a potted Phalaenopsis. Which one would get the best growth? If you want to know the answer to that, I will leave a video link above, okay, baby? But I knocked over the one that was potted. Okay, I knocked her over out of the pot, and my foul pals, can I get a, a amen in the comment box to let the people who are not members of the group know that girl, she was on the floor for at least a month. While she was on the floor, she continued to grow this leaf right here, which I was like, okay, that is definitely the type of orchid I want in my collection, the one that perseveres, okay? The one that is resilient, okay? That's what it's going to take to get the, you know, the best out of my... Look at how you see all of the ink, all of the dye from the colored orchid. This is inside of the roots, okay? Mm -hmm. So, she did not have any velamen to come off today. So, she's going to go right back into pure, clean water. Okay, you can even see some of the blue left on the leaf. Okay, you see it? Mm-hmm. But she's doing just fine, even though she was knocked out of the pot. Because initially, she was doing the best out of the two. So, this is the result of the water culture. She is now losing a leaf. Okay. And this long, big mama jump. <laughs> This big mama drama, honey. You see it? Don't get me to pull out my measuring tape, honey. Don't get me to pull out my measuring tape, honey. She's trying to show out for y'all. But she's still pulling nutrients from this leaf. Another one is slowly growing. Okay, it came off. I was trying to, you know, some of y'all would be so quick to get the herbs and spices out, honey. 
but she's doing just fine in water culture. I just have to um, improve my um, fertilizing, if you will. But just the water from the aquarium, you know, is really sufficient with growing roots. But we need nitrogen as well, okay? We need nitrogen so she can give us a nice, beautiful flower spike, okay? And some beautiful, luscious green leaves. Yes, God. So stay tuned. Welcome back, foul pals. Welcome on back. Now, if you are new to this channel, girl, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell so you will be notified, okay, every time I post a video, okay? So you can come and get you a kiki with your foul pal to real, okay? Make sure you do that. Also, like this video. Like it, honey, because it's not easy talking about Phalaenopsis orchids and trying to make it fun, okay? So give me kudos where kudos is due. So this little baby right here is one of those white fragrant Phalaenopsis orchids. And I just threw them in the method of water culture. Um, as you can see, she has um, beautiful roots. Um, beautiful roots. Um, she did not have any vellum in, oh, well, this right here. But the difference between this vellum in, okay, and the kind that you don't want to pull off is going to be if you have to yank it off. Like this right here looks similar, but it is not coming off. So leave it alone. Over time, it will be able to slide off just like that, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you're rinsing their roots off in the sink, honey, I thought I got all this together. When um, you're rinsing their roots off in the sink, it um, will easily be able to come off, okay? Easily, easily. Just like this. And the more clean that you get it, you know, the more that you're able to remove, the longer your Phalaenopsis orchid will be able to be in water, okay? I also have an experiment coming up with my Phalaenopsis orchids that I want to um, educate you guys on, but you gotta stay tuned. So after doing that, I want to just give her a day to dry out so she can, you know, close those wounds up really good. Because if you don't, then it will turn ooey and gooey and mushy and gushy. This is also one of those white fragrant Phalaenopsis orchids. And you know, I just want to commend Fail Pal Karina and Fail Pal um, Diana for just helping me out with learning how to grow my orchids, you know, successfully in the method of water culture. Please check out their channels. That's Karina's Orchids. And it's going to be Fail Pal Diana from Diana's Orchids. Okay, check them out. Wonderful ladies. Wonderful, wonderful ladies. Beautiful, beautiful leaves, okay? And this too, mama, is a um, white fragrant Phalaenopsis orchid, okay? And I've had all three of these for almost a year. I got them um, around April, okay, of 2020 from different local supermarkets like Lowe's and Publix. Stay tuned. Hey. 